Hi everyone, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about one of the most important parts of reaction engineering. Stoichiometry, although basic, is very important to examine when designing your reactors. Ensuring that our reactions are balanced will be very important, whether you're working in industry, solving practice problems, or simulating a reactor and given reaction in a software like Aspen Hysis. Because of this, I thought it'd be smart if we went over a quick review before getting into the more complicated reaction engineering concepts. Let's start with what exactly stoichiometry is. Stoichiometry is essentially the accounting system for any chemical reaction. Mass cannot be destroyed or created. Therefore, every single atom into and out of our reaction must be the exact same. So, for example, if we had 10 carbons, four oxygens, and 12 hydrogens into our reaction, we're going to get the exact same 10 carbons, four oxygens, and 12 hydrogens, even though they may be in a different chemical configuration. And this is what an elemental balance is. So, to ensure that our atoms into our reaction equals the same number of atoms out of a reaction, for each species in the reaction, we do the following. We assign a negative value to all of our input components, negative because they are being consumed in the reaction, and a positive value to all of our output components. And the value, whether positive or negative, assigned to each compound is simply the number of moles used or produced in the balanced chemical equation. Let's take a look at this example here, as I believe it'll help you understand much better. Let's take a look at the combustion of ethane. So, to properly balance this equation, let's create a checklist. First, we need to ensure that the carbon in equals the carbon out, and likewise for oxygen and hydrogen. This can often take a bit of trial and error, or you can use an online solver for more difficult balancing problems. To solve these, I recommend beginning with an element that only appears once on both sides of the equation, if you can. So, we could choose either hydrogen or carbon. Let's choose carbon. So, we have two moles of carbon dioxide on the product side. Now we can balance the hydrogens. Let's use three moles of water in our product. This balances both our carbon and our hydrogen. Now we just have oxygen left. We will quickly notice one thing though. We need to multiply our moles of water by two to get an even number, since the only oxygen we can achieve on our left side is an even number. Therefore, this requires a bit of updating for our other terms as well. And then we can find the answer in the following way. Another way to solve these problems is entering them into an Excel spreadsheet like so, and this will allow you to have lots of control and make it more visually appealing. Thank you for checking out this video, and I hope it helped your understanding of what an elemental balance in stoichiometry is, and how we find the stoichiometry of a reaction using the elemental balance. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe to support the channel. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.